there, this is Carla. Welcome to another very quick After Effects tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to track optical flares uh, within the scene. So for this one obviously we're going to be uh, creating some headlights uh, with op using optical flares for this current scene. So I've dropped a comp, obviously a video footage into my composition window and I'm going to open up my tracker. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create a new null object very, very quickly. And then with my footage selected, I'm going to come to animation and uh, click on track motion. I'm sort of going to zoom in with that and bring the center cross onto the highest uh, visible sort of part of the headlight, uh, which should make it um, a lot easier for the composition to track. Um, I'm going to edit my target. I'm going to make sure my null one is selected, click OK. And then what I'm going to do is simply, I'm going to track forward. So, once that's tracked forward, as you can see, our headlight is nicely tracked there. So I'm going to click on Apply, X and Y, click OK. So now we've got all our tracking data uh, within After Effects. Uh, we are ready to add a uh, optical flare um, onto this uh, vehicle. So I'm going to create a new solid. I'm going to make it com size, keep it jet black. You can title this as you go on, if you want. Go to Effects, Video Code Pilot. Then I'm going to open up optical flares, which will give us a standard flare. I'm going to cut into my options because I don't really like using that flare as a uh, headlight. I'm going to select this blue one here because I quite like that. Click OK. I'm going to come to my render output and click on transparent. I'm just going to get this headlight, this optical flare, and just place it in position where I want. And then I'm simply going to parent my optical flare with my null object. Now, if done correctly, if I open up my preview window, if we play it, as you can see, we've got our optical flare tracked really nicely onto our layer or onto our scene. So that looks pretty, pretty cool. Now what I do re recommend you do guys is um, just uh, do, the, uh, do the headlights separately. So what you wanna do is after you've done this one, repeat the same process uh, with the second headlight because what that will do guys, that will allow you to control um, your optical flares independently of your scene. So it just works a lot better. I mean, I could literally dupl duplicate that layer, so on and so on, but I don't really want to sort of do it like that. I want to sort of, you know, be able to control my optical flares, each optical flare, shall I say, in turn. So that's how we do it with um, After Effects. And now I'm going to show you guys how we do it with hip film. So, right, so I've got exactly the same footage in hip film pro, as you can see here, no different. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unload this, uh, un un undock this, and then I'm gonna click on the tracks. So I'm gonna add a new track point there. And then exactly the same as After Effects, I'm gonna bring the cross so it covers the highest point, and then make sure that this green one covers the headlight. So we want the optical flare to sort of stay around there. Um, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new point. I'm going to rename that tracking. So this is the equivalent to the null object if that makes sense. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my track here and I'm going to basically analyze that footage forward. Right so that's done now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my layer to my tracking and then hit apply on that. It looks like nothing's happened, but when you go back to your viewer, as you can see, it's tracked quite nicely to that point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new grade layer. Okay, this is uh, for my optical flare. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, effects. I'm going to go to my... Uh, if I can find it, lights and flares, and then I'm going to put light flare there, so we get our light flare up there automatically. I'm going to open up my effects here, and then my new grade layer can be connected to my track point there, and then I'm going to open up my hot position, and then I'm going to basically zero this out. Like so. Now, let's go to the tracking point, and then I'm gonna pair up my tracking point with my new grade, like so. Make sure that's all okay. 
Yep. I'm going to zero this out as well. Just bring this over here. I want to zero my position out here. Like so. And then I want to close all this so I know where I am. And then I'm going to open up my grade layer. My effects. Here. And then I'm going to use that layer and place it with my tracking. And what that will automatically do, guys, is put the the optical flare exactly in the position I want it to. Now, in order to change your um, effects for that, you just click on the, the the flare type, obviously, and you can click on whatever you sort of want. I'll use digital block for that. Um, and as you can see, we've got a nicely uh, tracked optical flare within uh, hip film so that's uh, two little tutorials uh, blended in one for you guys how to track optical flares in um, after effects and how to track optical flares in hip film so i hope you found this tutorial helpful do remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button and i would appreciate it and i'll definitely definitely guys catch you in the next one ciao ciao